It's officially mud season in the Lugansk Republic. It's eerily quiet in these woods today, although we've just heard the Ukrainian forcing using clustering munitions against the neighboring positions. This is somewhat of their weapon of choice nowadays. But the weather is basically hampering the efforts of both armies. And this is merely a lull before the storm. Treacherous terrain means lower movement speed for both vehicles and infantry, making them as good as a sitting duck. We are on the upper side. Вон там находится первая позиция противника, по прямой чуть правее. До нее отсюда 310 метров. По нашей информации там около 8 человек. Постоянные ротации из-за того, что личный состав выбывает. Наша артиллерия не оставляет им шанса долго жить, не то что существовать на этих позициях. Slowly moving targets are perfect prey for FPV drones armed with RPG projectiles. They're a threat for anything on the roads as far as 10 kilometers away from the front line. So their operators are a prime target. And this Ukrainian UAV pilot was too careless, too obvious. So a Russian kamikaze drone crashed straight into him. Cooler temperatures at night allow for swifter maneuvers. This is something that this special task force commander of the Ahmad battalion is happy to use to his advantage. This is exclusive footage recorded through a thermal imager of his unit taking out an enemy detachment. Five enemies are down, one escapes. Victory has a bitter taste to it, though, as one of Hade's own men is wounded. Шахтер, я понимаю, тебе больно. Нам еще бежать два километра. Мы тебя закидываем на плечи, и ты бежишь на одной ноге. Я понял? Иначе нам сейчас звездец. Нас сейчас накроет от та. Птица сверху. Ты меня слышал? This fighter is already in the hospital, getting better. He'll be okay also knowing he did not spill his blood in vain. Мы наступаем, наступаем вполне успешно, противника отодвигаем. В скором времени нам открывается дорога до Торского. Соответственно, театр боевых действий будет сдвинут к территории Торского. Так что сейчас дожимаем остатки противника здесь. Несмотря на все их резервы, это и силы специальных операций, бригады спецназа, 95-я аэромобильная. Kiev went all in with his summer campaign. Its unimpressive results leave Ukrainian commanders no choice but to continue to spur their troops into the grinds of battle. Amigashdanov reporting from the Donbass, RT.